sorry. Uh, good afternoon. I think uh, this time of the hour is very difficult to uh, keep everyone awake. So, in this regard, first and foremost, uh, myself, Game uh, Three from Bhutan. So, I look after the transmission and then distribution systems of the company. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we thank uh, IPPA for giving us this opportunity to come over, join this floor. And then I think uh, it was really interesting having not come, it would be a big regret. Uh, Bhutan Power Corporation, uh, as it is, uh, it's a breakup of uh, the then Department of Power. It's uh, solely responsible for transmission and distribution system in the company, uh, country. Uh, of course, uh, just uh, everyone was uh, speaking of loud that uh, Bhutan is uh, good in uh, hydropower generation. Definitely, we have uh, uh, that. We have around 30,000 megawatt uh, potential, over which uh, 26,504 is techno, uh, techno economically viable. So total installed capacity, today the installed capacity I'm talking of uh, just uh, some time back only 1,488 megawatt, 5% of the potential. But however, for the kind of formation, we uh, by 2015 to 16, we would have around uh, 5,000 megawatts on bar. So of which uh, uh, definitely, uh, we are exporting 75% uh, of the generation to India. Definitely, we are having a long-term association with uh, India. We have also a uh, translink uh, between uh, India in four quarters, so that's not a big issue. And uh, now, the big theme that uh, Government of Bhutan has uh, kept in mind is uh, electricity for all by uh, 2020, but uh, we have, uh, since uh, His Majesty the King has dreamt of having uh, electricity for all by 2020, it's rewinded and then uh, we made it uh, 20, we wanted to make it by 2013, but uh, it's just happening June this year. So by June 2014, so Bhutan will have electricity for all. So that is, uh, yes. Population now approximately six million, uh, six lakhs. Yeah, you know very well why you are asking that one. <laughs> uh, sorry for that. Of course, uh, in generation concern, we have uh, already taken up uh, uh, 1,488 megawatt, which is already into the bar, and then of which uh, we consume hardly. 297 megawatts only. The rest is being exported. Of course, the export export market is uh, India only right now. But then, uh, long time overdue. I think uh, this is to invite the attention of uh, uh, Mr. Hilal, because being the SAC region boss for transmission, so I think uh, this SAC region grid has to happen. It definitely. We are all looking for that. Uh, of course, BPC definitely it's a 100% government-owned transmission system and uh, we are also licensed to uh, distribute, transmit, then uh, embedded generation some uh, 5 megawatt and below is also responsibility of uh, uh, BPC. We also have a license for ICT facilitation and uh, uh, we are also the transmission uh, building company within the country. Uh, this is just to give a. I think that uh, transmission system by 2020. So this uh, should be because in Bhutan, though the uh, size of the country, as per the size of the country, it's very small, and then being divided into four uh, uh, that uh, valleys. So we see that uh, that's. Uh, uh, we have uh, Wangchu, uh, then uh, next we have uh, Punasachu, then we have uh, Mangdichu, then uh, there's uh, 
them uh, you so chu when we when i'm talking of chu it's a river so river basins divided into four river basins which is exactly it's showing that uh, uh, connecting to india into the four borders that is a uh, uh, first portion into uh, uh, rangia in the east and then uh, we have uh, uh, bogegaon so salakati usually we call it that's in the center and then the newly developed developing under developing that's alipu which is uh, 800 kv uh, hvdc so which is under construction all this power which we are generating that i'm talking of uh, puna 1 puna 2 mangdichu all the things which is coming to around 5000 megawatt would be pulled to this uh, alipur and then from there 800 kv hvdc transmits to agra that's in delhi uh we also have uh, and our transmission systems from 66 to 400 kv and uh, this is where i'm showing that uh, uh, like uh, we have already a uh, uh, that uh, pulling point uh, whereby vinaguri uh, that's nearby to uh, siliguri and then uh, all this being connected to we would be later seeing that uh, this would be connected to uh, siliguri siliguri also it's a pulling station whereby uh, the sak energy grid that we are talking of we were thinking of having a link from nepal link from uh, bangladesh now bangladesh uh, india is already connected bhutan uh, india is already connected long term and this is uh, we are waiting for nepal to happen that one. so exactly that will uh, be a backbone of the sak uh, Uh, energy grid so i think uh, from there definitely uh, through this 8, 800 kv hvdc that i'm talking of this is also leading up to the northeast so whereby it could be also well, well connected to myanmar and then this from delhi i think uh, via agra it may also lead to uh, yes uh, so so in this regard i think uh, uh, the sak energy will have to take little bit of initiative into this uh, happenings of the grid uh, thereby every time i think uh, almost uh, now uh, decade past we have been talking of south energy south asian energy grid but that's not happening so i think uh, it will have to happen sir uh this is what uh, just some um, export points uh, so alipur this is the Uh, that uh, new 800 kv hvdc station that we are talking of uh domestic consumption at the uh, so that's a uh, now for your kind of information the government of bhutan i think uh, those of you who are not aware of that one we were monarchy region uh, till uh, 2008 from 2008 it is open to a democracy so constitutional democracy so we are running into the second uh, democracy uh, the uh, parties so with which this time the government was kind enough that they have offered uh, uh, 100 uh, 100 units of free electricity to uh, the people uh, that's in the uh, rural areas so that is uh, the new government has given to them of course uh, that's not good for bpc and then the generating companies but then it's good for the company so this uh, government so which they have promised and they will have to do it uh i think uh, when we are talking very much into the transmission and distribution and then generation definitely uh, government of bhutan and government of india we are having a uh, agreement called umbrella agreement under which uh, 10000 megawatt will be generated uh, in a partnership so that's a joint venture uh, joint venture partnership so with which there are also small small hydros which are being taken which will be taken up by uh, the private partners so in this regard though we have uh, that much of uh, generation capacities and then uh, a hydro power system uh we are just to inform that uh, the fourth king of uh, bhutan king jigme singhi wongchu his uh, uh, vision was not the gdp 
but then he is saying that he wants to have a GNH. So that is gross national happiness. He is saying that uh, I want to see the happiness in the face of each and every Buddhist. So this is what uh, we look into GNH as the main concept. For GNH uh, to happen, the GNH has been structured or two, four pillars. So the pillars are, uh, number one, we say that uh, religion is piety. Then tradition and custom, that's the second pillar. The third pillar is the economy. And fourth, definitely the environment. So environment used to be now uh, coming on to with this, uh, all this uh, global warming and also environment is becoming very strong into the country. So with which uh, what we are doing with uh, that much of uh, hydropower system development, we are also planning uh, uh, that uh, we also by constitution, we also have that 60% uh, of the country should be forest reserved. So it should be forest uh, covered 60%. Uh, under the transmission system, we have a uh, rule saying that uh, for every tree that you fell down, you have to plant two trees. So these are all the systems that's into the thing. Then environmental conscious to save the glacier, definitely. If the glacier, uh, due to global warming, it melts down everything, so definitely there will be no hydro. So in this regard, uh, 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 that uh, government has also a system whereby government said that uh, we, we want uh, industrialization, but then not the uh, polluting industries. So uh, I think uh, a few uh, polluting industries definitely we cannot avoid. We have somewhere in the border, but then not in the center of the country, so we don't uh, uh, invite, yes, yes, <laughs> no, no, not exactly. Of course, uh, when we have it in the south, south also, the wind will always blow up. We are on the mountains, which will affect us only. So that is not with that. Uh, now, uh, yes, I think uh, these are all. Uh, so, National Load Dispatch Center, recently we have uh, uh, put into that one. So, Load Dispatch Center, we have also fiber systems all across the uh, transmission. We have a rule that uh, all the new transmission sh system should have a OPGW running all over. So, as per the Electricity Act and Grid Code, the following are the functions of the NLDC. So, we are uh, operating on this one. So NLDC, National Road Dispatch Center, is a uh, just uh, come on to think, but then we are looking forward that uh, uh, as per the system, they don't permit uh, the load dispatch and then the transmission O&M and distribution to be together. So we are further looking for bifurcation of this one also. Uh, we have uh, eastern and then western, then the central, so we have divided like that. And this is the National Road Dispatch Center that, uh, that uh, we have in the capital. So it was taken up by uh, also. Uh, in the construction, I think uh, it's happening everywhere also, particularly now with the environmental concern and then uh, uh, we are facing a biggest problem into the right of way system. So ROW is the tough job that we have to face into in today's life for construction. So uh, I think uh, with, which, with which I would like to request the members that uh, yes, there are lots of geopolitical issues here and there, but then when we come into energy for the people of the world. Of course, definitely we have to talk uh, overall, so we have to be together. And then I think uh, as a grid, we are planning it to, everyone should be gridded together, so that we move for the same goal. Thank you very much.